right, your after in surgery, Molly Smith, age uh, 33, has made an urgent appointment. She has concern about the daughter Jasmine Smith, who is five years old, screaming and shouting at night. Oh, that's pretty important. Screaming and shouting. Uh, it might be nightmare or night terror, that kind of thing uh, we are looking for. So child is five years old and mother is worried and that's why she has uh, uh, made an urgent appointment with us. Right, so let's have a look uh, at night terror. So night terror, you know, when we are discussing with night terror, that is actually happening uh, at the age group of three to eight years, three to eight years and usually happens in early part of sleep, early part of sleep and child won't be able to remember the episode. That is the thing. Child will not be able to remember the episode. Uh, there is a similar term that is a nightmare. In nightmare, child will be able to remember the episode and it might not be happening in early part of sleep but age group is usually the same in uh, both the things right so night terror uh, we will be having a child who is young three to eight years early part of sleep and uh, in the morning you'll see child is not able to recall not able to remember the episode so how do we take history and what is the reason child is having this uh, night terror we need to take history in a way that is before during after what happened before sleep there might be few things you might get during the sleep or uh, what we have to see after like whenever we are taking a case uh, where we are dealing with fall where we are dealing with the uh, fits dizziness or vertigo that is how we take the history what happened before what happened during what happened after right so here also we have to deal with the same stuff so before sleep we need to know about the environment how was the environment of the sleep that is something very very important for example uh, bed is not at all comfortable there is too much of light in the in the house or in the room uh, tv is there um, I mean, noise actually noise pollution that is what we are looking for and phone maybe child was um, just playing with the mobile phone or something all these things can add up and uh, can be the reason of night terror right so we have to be very 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 careful we are asking like uh, what your child is doing before going to the bed i mean how's the environment how's the bed how's the lighting in the house whether you have got uh, any television that you're watching before going to sleep, noise is there, I mean phone if he's using, full bladder if he's uh, sleeping and when the bladder is full. So that might be one of the uh, tricky risk factor for night terror. So we have to be very careful on that as well. If child is sleeping alone, that might be the reason and uh, not at all having proper toilet training that is also the thing full bladder or toilet training that might be the reason so we have to see for lots of factors lots of factors we have to see uh, environment is one bladder bowel habits and sleeping alone that will come in this uh, night terror during the sleep we have to see for few things like during sleep when they have got this uh, uh, night terror so what exactly happened what exactly happened like um, First of all, since when this thing is happening? Now child is, for example, three year, four year, five. Since when it is happening? Like, is it one month, two months, six months has happened? How many episodes has happened? How many times it has happened? And what is the duration of it? So, for example, uh, mother is saying uh, the child is having it for last two months. How many times? Yeah, it's happening daily, doctor, from now onwards. And duration, yeah, it is, is there like he's shouting and screaming for uh, like two to three minutes and then he's absolutely fine. So that is the history we need to take. We need to ask for the jerky movements as well, whether there was any fits whether there was any jerky movements or not and if there was any jerky movement we need to go in detail we need to ask for uh, uprolling of eyes we need to ask for tongue biting we need to ask for incontinence as well and screaming and shouting is there that is the main feature that you will see in case of uh, night terror and after sleep uh, when they wake up in the morning i mean recollection of the events is uh, something uh, we have to see see we don't usually ask the child uh, why you were shouting why you were screaming in in the night that is not a good thing to do you just have to see you just have to make sure uh, like uh, did you sleep well whether everything was fine or not that is something you can ask but uh, don't ask uh, about the cycle but we can see like if there is any recollection of the events maybe child himself or herself is discussing about uh, what has happened with him or her in the night right so during after and before so during we are asking since when how many episodes duration whether there was any jerky movement or not and if there was any whether there was incontinence whether there was any tongue biting or any uprolling of the eyes right and after sleep you're asking whether there was any recollection of the events before we try to try to find out the cause cause might be environment 
uh, like uh, not at all uh, like comfy bed or too much of light in the house in the room uh, noise phone full bladder sleeping alone and also like you know the behavior of the parents might be like there might be some uh, problem going on in the family they are fighting with each other so, and uh, maybe child has recently started going to the school bullying at school maybe all these things can also add up in night terror as well right so all these things will be very very important and we know like it is happening in uh, the age group of three to eight years early part of sleep and child won't be able to remember the episode that is what is what we having right in this actually we don't have to do any investigations and all because uh, when child will go from this age like three to eight years after this child will be absolutely fine they won't be having this kind of night terror what we have to do we have to look for uh, sleep hygiene because in before what we are getting we are getting the reasons so try to make sure we are giving good hygiene to the child a good environment to sleep a good bed not too much of light no tv no noise no phone bladder bowel habits are fine all these things we have to take care right and that's how we can help the child in in avoiding these episodes of night terror so sleep hygiene is must right then we have got breaking the cycle so you know what what's happening it's happening in early part of sleep and happening uh, uh, at uh, uh, a particular time right so what we can do we can uh, break the cycle so what we do as it is happening daily at same time for example it's happening at 11 o'clock daily so what we can do 10 minutes or 15 minutes ago we can break the cycle we can wake up the child at 10 45 so if you do it uh, regularly for one week for two weeks you will see the difference after the child might not be having the episodes of uh, night terror so breaking the cycle might help so you have to take care of the sleep hygiene we can break the cycle that might be helpful and reassurance is very very important we have to reassure the parent that if this is the thing that you don't have to worry child will come out of these things right but of course we have to tell them about the follow-up and about the warning signs uh, and some safety netting like uh, you know for example child is having this night terror so at that time what we are doing we are not asking the child in the morning why you are screaming why you are shouting that's not a good thing but we have to make sure uh, they at that time when they're having these kind of episode they are not hurting themselves they're not hitting somewhere like there should not be any sharp objects uh, nearby because if there is any they can hurt themselves so that's the thing we have to be very very careful so it's a reassurance breaking the cycle might help and take care of the sleep hygiene that is what we have got in night terror right all right thank you